Hello everyone and welcome to another tutorial and today I'm going to give you information and explain all about steamwebhelper.exe In fact, Steam Web Helper is a process that runs in the background when you launch Steam It is responsible for rendering web pages within the Steam client and is used for various features such as the Steam Store, Community Pages and in-game overlay However, some users have been reported issues with this process, including high CPU usage and slow performance. And in this video, we will explore more about Steam Web Helper. You should know that steamwebhelper.exe is not a virus or malware and it's not harmful to your computer. But people reported that it may lead to high CPU usage or low performance. And this can be caused by corrupted installation of Steam or outdated drivers. So, should you remove steamwebhelper.exe? The answer is no. Steamwebhelper.exe is a critical component of the Steam client, and removing it can cause issues with the functionality of the platform. Instead of removing Steam Web Helper, you should try to troubleshoot the issue. One of the first things you can do is to update your drivers update your graphics card or any other things that affect the performance in general because outdated drivers can cause issues with the performance including the issues we have mentioned and you can also use a driver updaters tool like drive booster to scan for outdated drivers and update them automatically if updating your drivers doesn't resolve the issue you can try to verify the integrity of the game files in steam this will check for any corrupted files and replace them if necessary and to do this follow these steps all you have to do is to open your steam then go to the game that you are having the problem with then click on properties then click on install files then tap on verify integrity of game files this will take a couple of minutes you should wait till it ends then after finishing you can try the game or if you're still having the same problem, you can reinstall your Steam client. And this is a very easy step. All you have to do is to go to your search, then type control panel, then choose programs, programs and features. And here you can find your Steam application. Then click right click on it and uninstall. Then reinstall the client again. And hopefully your issue will be fixed. And that's all for today. Thanks for watching and see you in another tutorial.